everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another die cast restoration video. And um, I'm pleased this time that you haven't had to wait so long as you had the last time for another video. Right, so um, before we start all that, just like to thank all my regular subscribers and um, all my new ones. Haven't been many, but as I put in the last video we're past the thousand subscribers now so let's hope it keeps going up and um, anyway as long as everybody enjoys my videos that's the main thing right um, this week it's going to be um, the restoration of uh, I've got to have a look because I've forgotten what this is yeah, it's, a, it's the forward control Jeep, so it's a Jeep FC150, and it's the one with the um, the lift in the back, you know, like the cherry picker for, for doing the lights. Now, I haven't done this the same colour as what the original was, simply because I can't find that paint. Um, so, I've, it's a bit of a custom paint job. I haven't changed anything else, the rest is, is how it should have been. Um, I haven't got the figure to go in the back, that's the only thing. Um, I need to try and get one at model supplies, but I haven't made up an order and I'm not going to do one before the new year. So when I do um, put an order in, I will try and get a, a figure for this vehicle. Okay, so as I always say, please sit back, relax, enjoy watching the video, see how I got on with this one. Okay then, let's take a closer look at this one. Corgi Toys Jeep FC150. So this is uh, this is like the street lamp repairers. I don't know what you call it, cherry picker, I suppose. Skylift. I think the one that, that our work was called the Skylift. I had to do a I had to do a course and a test and that on it because we used to help out to put the Christmas decorations up in our town. Um, it's got quite a bit of paint loss, a few chips or donks in the windscreen but nothing too bad. I think there might be a, a crack, I don't know if you can just see it in the back one but we worry, won't worry too much about that. Um, tires are gone, but all the suspension seems okay. This is a bit floppy, the mast. Um, I'll have to have a look at that. Um, this ram, well, it's a split pin. It's a bit, um, someone's pulled it out to try and make it stiffer but it looks a bit shite and it's it's bent so we'll have to look at that I might have to drill those rivets out there I was hoping not to but I might have to um, the shaft is bent the other one very slightly as well um, now this basket is cracked broken there so a bit of super glue on that should do the trick same there broken there so we'll have to sort that out so it's going to be a pretty straightforward one I think this one um, I did do one of these forward control jeeps a while back just an ordinary ordinary one um, so this one a little bit different so I'm going to do a custom paint job on this. I've got a plan for all these models I'm doing now. So I 
I guess we better get on and start to undo this one. Okay, I'll catch you in the next bit. Right, let's get this thing apart. Two rivets, one there on the base plate and one for the lift in the back. So, let's give it a go. start with the uh, small drill bit a little bit bigger um, yeah. don't ask me what size it is As you can see, I still haven't sharpened my drill bit. I've got the sharpener underneath the bench here. I think that's just about it there. I don't uh, think I'll go any more with that middle one either. Cause that drill bit's a bit big. Oopsie, I'll try for this one. Slightly smaller. Oh, well, that's it, it's gone that one. So I've got the washer on the end, look. Okay, so well that's just that's just come out now, so that's got a spring on the end, obviously that puts the tension on there. Um So we mustn't lose that. Well, I know the ideal thing would be really to put a screw in here, but it had a rivet originally, so, or not a rivet, but it was pinned over originally. So I would like to put that one back like that with a rivet. I haven't got any um, taps. I did have. <laughs> I don't know where they are. Right, so this is all just falling apart. This is a spare wheel. Got a nice tyre on it. Well, it's a bit cracked, but it's a spare one, so it doesn't really matter. So, nothing to it, really. Um, bit of plastic to hold the interior and the windscreen in. Not sure if it matters which way they go, but that is slightly angled. Whether it's just gone like that through time, I don't know. But that's slightly angled. Well, they're both slightly angled. <laughs> Back ones and the front ones. So I don't think it really matters. Ah, no, they look the same. Oh, well, that'll have to go in the ultrasonic cleaner together with this interior, which is very misshapen. I don't know if I can. Put that in warm water and straighten it out a little bit. Windscreen, no rivet. So that's straightforward. And that's it, basic shell. Right, so that's ready for the caustic. Uh, these... Oh, my stomach's rumbling. <laughs> These um, axles, I don't know, do I take them out? Easy to bend these flipping rods, as I'm sure most of you are aware. But do I want to grind that off? 
actually might be the best way might be the best way I think I will actually do that with a file As Martin keeps reminding us, make sure you put the piece of file, the edge of the file that's got no teeth on it, not to damage your wheels. Right, well there's no point in me filming this bit, you know what I've got to do. Um, so I'll go and do it, because otherwise it's going to make the video very long, like my my usual videos. So I'll do that off camera, and then we'll come back to Here we go, I've done that. So still a bit tight, I haven't taken too much off. So that's one off. That's the other one off. There, that's ready for the caustic. Bung all that in. Right. Now this plastic bit's gonna have to go. In fact, I wonder if I'm just putting the whole lot in the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. This split pin I, I bent it out a little bit because it's not tight but it looks shit so <coughs> I think I am going to drill these these ones out these rivets out so, take a whole lot apart this bit won't need to go in the um, caustic because I think it'll, it'll just polish up Hopefully it'll just polish up. take too much off. Same time I've got to take enough. I can't be very nearly yet now. It's almost that's it. That's it. Okay, he's gone. So that's all that holds that together is just a little groove there and those pieces fit in. Okay. Uh, so it's a piece of rubber in there and that's worn, you can see that piece of rubber is well worn. So I'll put a new split pin in there and uh, I'll put a new piece of rubber, maybe rubber o-ring, a piece of big up rubber o-ring might do in there. I might do that because if I put that same bit back it's just going to turn and go back to where the groove is. Okay, well, that's that all in pieces. So I'll have to. Don't know whether I'll drill that out or not. Maybe to make it look neater, I'll just drill that out 
very shallow and put a very shallow rivet in there or two very shallow rivets okay so um, I'm not going to take the basket off because as I say the whole lot can go in the ultrasonic cleaner this is slightly bent but we'll just straighten it like that sorry about my stomach rumbling it just won't stop a little bit more almost there there that's not bad okay so that that'll need gluing those two bits will need gluing and this piece here but I'll do that after it's been in the uh, cleaner I'll just take the split pin off to match it up okie doke then um, caustic soda bath see you over there ok in with the boiling water Coming off nice already, look. That's probably enough. Oh yeah, look at that, how it's coming off very, very quickly. Okay, so um, as always, uh, I'll leave this in a few more minutes and then. Um, Next time you see it, it'll be all wire brushed and cleaned, ready for priming on the bench. Okay, so that's all those bits, well, all those bits, there's only two bits, all cleaned up and uh, ready for priming. Um, I've had to do a lot of filing on one side there, because it was all, there was nicks out of it and it was quite bad. So that side's a little bit lower than this side. But I don't think you'll notice it too much when it's painted. Um, it's too thin to start trying to patch. I've done it before, or I've tried to do it before on, on the last one of these I did quite a while back. And uh, the piece, it just fell out in the end because it's, oop, I nearly dropped it again then. It's so thin along that edge. So I filed it and sand it as best I can. It's not 100%. You can see it's got a dip, but I don't think you'll notice it too, too much when it's painted. I can't take any more off, you know, because it'll look really bad then. Okay, so that's all ready to be uh, painted to have the primer on. So I'm going to go outside and do that. And uh, we'll see after that how we're getting on. Okay, that's those two bits primed. Now the colour I'm going to use for this, I haven't got the right colour, um, so this is what I'm going to use for the body. So it's a blue, it's a metallic blue, HBLUM404, whatever that is, HBLUM04, anyway that's it, it's the Holtz to spray paint so that's what I'm going to use for that part and then for the base of it I'm going to do it this grey so that's H grey O2 and that's the Holtz to spray paint again okay so I'm going to go and do that now right I've done this windscreen and uh, just wipe it a bit because it's wet. I've done it with polish, I've done it with the nail buffers and I've washed it 
in uh, soapy water after that. So we're going to put it in the pledge. Pledge revive it. Sure, there's no bubbles. Shake it out and then I'll put it in there. That's it. Okay, so I've painted and lacquered all these parts. I got a bit carried away. Um, I've polished this piece up and I've put it all back together. Um, I just put a bigger slightly bigger split pin in there to make it uh, hold again. I used the same piece of rubber inside and um, put a couple of rivets in there. So that's all okay. I glued that together where it was broken so that seems okay. I've polished up the wheels and I've put the tyres on. So now I've just got to do the detailing, do the lights and the bumper and then we'll be all ready to put it back together again. I'm really shaking. Right, that's that done. I'm a bit shaky today, so I've had a bit of a job doing that. I mean, it's not really a difficult one to do, but I've just had a job to do it because I'm shaking so much. So um, that's the door handles done, and then just those front bits. Um, I haven't done as well as Martin did on his. He did the Jeep badge as well, I think, but I've left that because. I know it will go everywhere if I try that today. Anyway, that's not too bad. So, I think next step we're going to be putting it back together. So I'm just going to leave that dry a little bit and then we'll set to and do that. Okay, assembly time. Now I've put the wheels on and pinged them over ready. Um, save a bit of time. Now, this is going to be a little bit tricky, so first of all, start with the glass. Unfortunately, it has got a little crack in, in the corner. Um, interior next. Oh. On the floor. Again. <coughs> okay back again. Now it's a little bit sort of misshapen. I did try heating it up and with the hot water a bit to try and get it right but that's going to be a problem I think because I can't get it 
I can't seem to get it to fit. Right, let's try and get this. Tried to pull it out a little bit. It's not great. Um, I think that's got to go in that way. I don't think it matters, but I'm just oh, not that interior again. Um, I'm trying to put it in the way it came out because it was slightly bent a little bit. Right now, you've got to remember to put the spare wheel in and uh, I'm trying to think what to do next. This has got to go in here. I'll try putting it the right way around. So put that through underneath. I put a bit of Vaseline on it to uh, hopefully make it turn a bit easier. Now this is going to be a bit difficult because I do need to put a bit of glue on there because if you remember that rivet's too shallow to drill. Um, so there's a little tab that fits in that groove and then I'm going to put some glue around that bit. So hang on, I'll take this back out again in a minute and then I'll put the glue ready. Now the spring's got to go in as well. So it's going to be a bit of a fiddle. So hang on, if I put some glue, well, I use this pot, the old pot, because it fell over yesterday with the lid on, and then I couldn't get the lid on this morning, so the nozzles come out in the lid. And uh, I'll just put a bit, oh shit, too much again. Too much, Bob, if you're watching. Never mind. At least it shouldn't fall apart. Right, okay. I better put that lid on the glue because I don't want to knock that over and get a glue tsunami like Bob. Right, okay, so here we go again. So we'll put the old piece through underneath. Then uh, what we're going to do, put the spring on next. Then we put this piece, tongue in the groove there. Um, oh, this isn't the easiest of things to do. Okay, so now we've got that, I need to put a little bit of glue inside there. Taking the lid off of my teeth. Now this is a new pot of glue, so... So we put a bit in there, put the lid on. Okay, put this washer. Which I can't get to go on now. That's it. And then finally, this rivet, which is quite a big one, and I know it's tight. It's tight. Oh, come on. Okay, so just got to keep that there for a minute. I'm still shaking. <laughs> Get the lid on this glue properly. Okay, so I'm just going to hold it there for a minute until it dries and then we'll turn it over and have a look at it. Okay, I think it should be alright now. Right, 
turns. Goes up and down. It stays there, it's nice and tight now. Oh, that's cool. I think that's turned out too bad. Well, that's been sort of one of my easier ones. It's not a difficult model to do. Um, the worst bit is the front. I found it's, it's not 100%, but it's not too, too bad. So, that's it then. Another one done. Okay, so there's another one done. Another one saved from the Corgi scrapyard. And, um, you know, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I've really enjoyed doing this one. And for once, it's sort of more or less all gone according to plan. So, no hiccups. Um, the worst bit for me was the front on this one. It's not 100%, but it's, it's possible. And, um... You know, like I say, I hope you've enjoyed watching it, and uh, if you have, please join me again, excuse me, please join me again next week for another uh, die cost restoration video. So it's Sunday today, and I hope that this will be ready for Tuesday. If you're watching this on Tuesday, then you know it will be, or it will have been. <laughs> if not, it, it'll be whatever day you're watching it, it was the day I got the video done. But, um, yeah, you know, I'm going to do some outdoor shots because it's not raining yet. It's very dull and overcast, but it hasn't rained, so hopefully I can get out and take a few outdoor shots before it rains, because I'm sure it's going to. And then um, we'll do the turntable shots. So, until next time, please look after yourselves, take care. And we'll see you next time. Cheery for now. Hubby. Bye.
Thank you.